uh, introducing the new 360 bolt uh, concept that we have on the market. Uh, traditionally, we have an anchor bolt system that goes into the ground and it's made up of four bolts like this that are welded together with a set of ligatures around. There's a set of base plates on the bottom that uh, hold the bolt from coming out of the ground. Uh, it's either can be cogged or with a base plate, this depends on the engineering design. This product has been on site for nearly two weeks now and then you can see that the uh, rust is starting to come up on all over the ligatures. This can cause problems in the footings by concrete cancer. Uh, another problem is, like we said, that this you cannot adjust these once they're cast in the concrete. So therefore, once you have your uh, base plate coming over the top, if it's in the wrong position with the column, you have to modify the base plate and cut holes in it, add to the base plate and whatever else you have to do to make it in, uh, fit in the right position. This is where sort of our product comes in now. We have a product where once you cast into the concrete, you've still got adjustability. Now I introduced the, the 360 bolt. It's made up of a durable plastic, uh, a zinc threaded rod or a galvanized threaded rod. It's all bolted together with lock nuts like a pearl and flange bolt. Uh, there is no welding at all on our product. Therefore, we don't need a, a welder on site or there's no rust coming out of the product or interfering with the foundation. Then we have a galvanized plate on top. It has survey markings over the top, so when a surveyor puts his pins down or, or string lines or whatever you're doing on site, you can locate this product correctly. We've also got holes in the sides there for the, uh, a pocket or a rebate or formwork, timber formwork, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the job site. And then once we cast it in, this product just goes into the concrete just like in a traditional cage. You sink it into the concrete or pre-hook pre it so it's in position ready to go but you place it down so it's flush level with the top of the concrete and all you have left exposed is our top of the plate. On top of here, we have these protective covers. One purpose is for it to stop the concrete from going inside and, and getting inside the tubes, therefore not preventing them from moving. But another purpose is that these days on site, uh, for high visibility, that there's a projection of bolts around the area and everyone can clearly see that there's bolts and it stops any RHS issues on site. So once we have the bolt in place and it's ready to go and everything's cured and it's right for rigging, the steel erectors will come along and remove these caps to expose the threads. The threads are now nice and clean, no concrete, there's no damage, the bolts will just go on nice and easy. Uh, the riggers will come along and put packers down to get their heights set everywhere. So once the riggers have come along and set out and put their packers down, they can now place the column on top of the bolts. We land the column either by a crane or by any other means on site and we place the column and it's in position. Currently it's still the same as a normal traditional setup, the bolts are in the right spot. We're not sure if they're located correctly but they're just vertically in position. Then we come along and we put our washers down. These are special washers, spherical washers that allow the bolt to move over the base plate and still have the load going straight down into the bottom of the base plate without loss of surface area to the bottom of the bolt. So we just tie the bolts on, fasten the bolt down so it's safe and won't fall over. Then you have a look at your lines and see where the column actually needs to go and if you need to move the column then we can just move the column around on the holding down bolts. 30 millimeters of plate whichever way and we can also angle it whichever way you'd like. And once you're happy with your new position the bolts get done up tightened. The guys will come along, ground underneath just like a traditional setup and it's done.